I was, uh, there's a photo that's floating around up there from when I was in a, a high school performance group called the Cabaret Troupe, which, no. Oh, right, Alex! Yeah, you were in it! <laughs> hey, man! Um, <laughs> Alex Wise was in that. Uh, we, uh, we sang, the, the motto was, Broadway rocks! And so we'd sing things from rock musicals, like a chorus line. And so we, um... We, every year there was like a big cabaret troop trip, and, and my senior year, our big trip was to New York City. We, we, this was in Ohio, and we were going to take a bus to New York, and it was very exciting. And it was the year that Andrew Lippa's Wild Party came out. Right? I mean, beat that score. Try to. So we uh, were geeking out on that, as only high school musical theater nerds really can. And it turned out that the director of this show choir-like group uh, was also dear friends from college with the Wild Party star, Julia Murney. And we were singing Raise the Roof in our, in our uh, thing, which is like a big showstopper in the Wild Party. It's a great song, and I wish Julia was singing it tonight, but she didn't ask me. And so we came to New York, and we got on a bus. We were like going down to do a concert right around the corner from here, but which no one came to. And Julia steps onto the bus! and sang Raise the Roof with us. And it was my first time singing out loud in New York City was backing up this lady on Raise the Roof uh, from the Wild Party. And so it was my great joy to invite to the stage Julia Murney. We're sort of friends now, but I still feel weird about it. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> back in the day. So. So, How you doing? I'm really good. How yeah? are you? Good. Good. What? Oh. What? What? <laughs> what was your first impression of me? <laughs> Sexy and illegal. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Julia Murdy, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so, um, uh, my first story is many, many moons ago when I did my first uh, solo show. I, uh, my in incredible music director was an old friend of mine from The Wild Party, the aforementioned show, the very handsome and sexy Stephen Oremus. <laughs> and legal. Um, and, um, and um, the only difference between, well, when I did my first solo show and today is that I've sung one trillion very high belty notes and he has a bunch of Tonys and Grammys. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Very fancy over here. Speaking of which, <clears throat> so we were putting this show together and um, uh, we decided on this, this song and I was like, how do I get into it? What is the, what is the, the, the tale you tell to get into a song that's a basically about a woman who gently nudges her daughter into prostitution? I don't know what story that is, until my old friend, because he knew things about me, Stephen, goes, tell the porn story. And so I did, and I have for many times since, and I shall give you the porn story right now. Once, not once upon a time, still to this day, I do voiceovers um, for a living, and um, I, for a while, I did, so promos are things like, coming up next on the Olympics, that's a promo. Fine. I uh, was given, without having to audition, how nice, um, <laughs> the job of doing promos for the Spice Channel, which is not about cooking. Uh, it doesn't exist anymore. It was so high-end. Um, and I, for a number of weeks on end, would do promos uh, to talk about the next shows coming up on the Spice Channel. <clears throat> wherein I said things such as, and this is an actual promo that I did, it's the only one I remember, apologies to anyone who's offended, get over it. And um, it is often better if you shut your eyes, but this is what I actually said on a television for money. <clears throat> if you like your bitches with an Asian twist and all the fucking and sucking you can handle, welcome to the month of Cocktober on Spice. Oh, yes. I didn't have a television. I needed to buy a television, so I did it. Whatever. You do what you do. And that's the story I told, and this is the song I sang. <laughs> Yeah, so 
up in her troubled eyes as she started to speak. She looked at her pitiful shack and then she looked at me and took a ragged breath. She said, your pies run off. I'm real sick and the baby's gonna starve to death. She handed me a heart-shaped locket that said to thine old self be true. And I shivered as I watched a roach crawl across the door of my child shoe. Sweet.